Hey folks, how's it going? Today we're going to touch on Demon Hunter and the changes that we've got coming up with Season 4. Ultimately, we're not seeing any significant change here with the class. Um, overall, from a Covenant perspective, you're still going to probably prioritize Venthyr, um, certainly for raiding, but on the Mythic Plus scene, they still are the go-to. Um, definitely with the benefits that come with the, that sinful brand when metamorphosis drops. So really recommended path forward is is to go with Venthyr. They're, they're your top defi definite covenant choice that's out there. Um, ultimately, like we really didn't see any kind of tuning here going into 9.27. So that leaves Havoc in a great spot, like top of the A tier realistically from a Mythic Plus perspective and definitely a desirable class uh, looking at our raid composition. Now, what's really everybody wants to talk about, so let's jump right to it, um, from a talent build perspective. So for Mythic Plus, you should be sitting around Fellblade with Tier 1. Tier 2, go with Demonic Demon Blades. Tier 3, Glaive Tempest. You want to keep this in mind, and there's, there's a pretty good reason you want to get away from Unbound Chaos or Trial of Ruin and just gives us additional ranged attacks makes a huge difference and then when you combine that with your tier six throw glaive having a second charge and being actually to snare and reduce the speed of your enemies really kind of makes the the build complement itself really well uh, back to tier four now you can go with soul rendering which is what i personally prefer i i appreciate a little bit of self heal via leech that's one way to go. Alternatively, you can go with Netherwalk if you think you need an immunity there. Tier 5, First Blood is the way to go. Tier 6, like we mentioned, Master of the Glaive is alright. Depending on your group composition, you may get asked to go with Fell Eruption if you need a, a single stun, but my recommendation is stick with Master of the Glaive. And then finally, there's no argument here. Demonic is certainly the way to, to progress in tier 7. So then as we start to dig a little bit further what everybody wants to talk about and let's get into it. As far as legendaries go I played a lot in 9.2 with Burning Wound effectively every time you apply Demon's Bite um, it actually increases the damage of em Emolution Aura pretty materially. That's always been yeah r really really complimentary but what I found is that you end up in Mythic Plus just spamming Demon's Bite. And that just gets a little repetitive, not totally fun. Um, Blazing Slaughter you can have a lot of fun with as well. But like, ultimately, you're really only, only going to go with the hunt if, uh, if you're sticking with a little bit of a more PvP approach. The hunt in PvP is incredibly satisfying. Definitely recommend Night Fae on that for area. So that leaves us with a couple other theories. S speaking of theories, we're going to go with Chaos Theory. That ultimately has some play with it. But what you actually want to do is go with either Chaos Theory or Collective Anguish. When you compare either of those with Agony Gaze, because you'll be rocking Venthyr, it's going to be really satisfying. You're going to have really high uptime on Sinful Brand brand and will pump out a bunch of DPS. Um, alternatively, if you want to like go with a different approach, Blazing Slaughter combined with Burning Wound, Burning Wound for Night Fae, that's ah, credible, but it's not, not really the recommended dance for me. Um, definitely keep your hands on your tier sets for as long as possible. I know we'll be running into higher eye level gear here with the faded rates coming out, but just stay a little patient. I think it'll we'll we'll have some fun uh, fun components reward themselves here if we can stay disciplined and not just jump to the highest eye level gear. So maintain your ultimately it seems pretty simple to say, but maintain your tier set bonus while you have it. Certainly early in the season, and we'll see how it all plays out. Ultimately, folks, that's the quick and dirty. Venthyr is the way to go. If not, Night Fae is the only other real credible alternative. 
outside of that, we're just kind of having a bunch of fun here as we look to finish off Xerath Mortis and get ready for Shadowlands Season 4. Let me know what you think about the upcoming season, what you think of the state of Havoc right now, and drop it down in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, folks. Peace.